New at four, it was one of the most devastating house explosions in our area's history. A blast so powerful, it shook the ground in Loudoun County and even shook houses across the Potomac River into Maryland. The blast left one firefighter dead and 12 other people injured. Today, investigators said they were taking action against the propane company at the center of this blast, halting all deliveries within the county until further notice. Our chief investigative reporter, Eric Flack, is here to break down the details. And Flack, the fire marshal said the company's fire code information was out of date. Is that correct? That's right, Simone. And the fire marshal is now ordering the propane company, Southern States Cooperative, to stop making deliveries to residents until that fire code is updated. You will remember these jaw-dropping aerials from Sky 9 back in February when a house in Sterling was reduced to a pile of burning debris. 45-year-old Sterling volunteer firefighter Trevor Brown died in that blast. He was investigating a leaking 500-gallon underground propane tank when that tank exploded. Ten other firefighters and two residents of that home were hurt. The investigation showed the propane tank was leaking into and around the home and sparked by a still unknown ignition source. Today, the Loudoun County Fire and Rescue Fire Marshal's Office said they're still trying to determine where that spark came from. But in the meantime, the fire marshal has ordered that propane company, Southern States, to review and update the company's fire code related information. The fire marshal also ordered the company to stop delivering or transferring propane within Loudoun County until the company completes its fire code updates. The fire marshal added Loudoun County residents who are Southern States customers may actually experience interruptions to their normal propane service delivery while the company gets into compliance. The fire marshal adding the two sides hope to have these updates completed as quickly as possible to help reduce the impact on the community, but the fire marshal did not offer a specific timeline. I also put in a call to that propane company, but I have yet to hear back. Simone? Well, you mentioned the community. This had such a massive impact on them and still so many unanswered questions just about the explosion. Did the fire marshal say when their investigation might be wrapped up? You know, Simone, the fire marshal said this remains an extremely complex investigation and that the incident will remain under investigation until further notice. He added their office will release the official cause of the deadly explosion as soon as that investigation is complete. We'll keep you updated. All right, Eric, we'll check back with you for information. Thank you. Okay.